What's going on YouTube? Jeans here bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Steam Magic Colossal and Charizard Toxic Croak team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that's been going out on the channel. But yo, this team right here was sent in by my boy Randy. Randy cannot thank you enough for dropping teams for me. I really do appreciate it and I cannot wait to play this one. But rocking out on this team, we got Weavile right here. Weavile can actually trigger the Steam Engine. It has a brand new move from the Isle of Armor Triple Axle. Then it can also work as a fake out Pokemon and it has Sunny Day to actually have that weather control and then his item is that focus ash with pressure ability. We also got Toxic Croak to the right with those safety goggles and Poison Touch ability. Usually you, you see dry skin, but Poison Touch is awesome and I cannot wait to show it off. So when I use a contact move such as Poison Jab, we get a 30% chance of poison on top of the poison chance already. So that is gonna be awesome. This thing is also rocking Fake Out, Sucker Punch for first turn priority and Cross Chop for nice big stab biting damage. We got Colossal over here. You guys already know about Big Dog over here. Triggered the Steam Engine with that weakness policy. We get a big speed boost plus six and then plus two in that attack uh, stat as well. We have Flare Blitz for stab, Rock Slide for stab, EQ for coverage, and Protect as a nice little normal move right there. Then we got our boy Snorlax over here with that thick fat and a soul fest. He's, he's going to be able to tank up and then coverage out and actually uh, do a lot of work. He has one stab move, which is going to be Giga Impact. So if we're going to use that, we're going to be trying to do, deal some big damage on whatever Pokemon we're going after. Then it has Fire Punch, Rock Slide, and Super Power. And then the bottom two Pokemon. Such cool Pokemon. Everybody loves these two. We're going to start off with my boy Gengar over here with Cursed Body and the Shuka Berry. Shadow Ball, Sludge Wave for uh, stab moves. Sunny Day to change up weather. And Ally Switch to Pester and Dodge moves for other Pokemon. And then in the final spot, we got a mean Big Dog Charge. Charizard over here, over here with Solar Power and Life Orb, Fire Blast, Hurricane, Solar Beam, and Protect. Fairly normal move set for your boy Charizard. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But in the last video, we went 0-3. So let's try to get some wins on that rank ladder for today's video. I just realized since I haven't played Pokemon in a good bit, well, at least recorded it, um, it is a new season, so I do not know if any rules change, any new Pokemon have been banned. If you guys do know the rules and all that, let me know in the comment section down below. I would seriously love to know the new season, what is it, season 7? Whatever season we're on, the new rules for, uh where we're at right now but hopping into our first battle this guy has this trick room yep obviously trick room he's got the dust cops slow ferrothorn slow gastron everybody's slow here everybody's slow and he has two trick room users with the rangaroo and the dust cops so i do I have anybody to actually just take out a trick room i do not uh, that's kind of that kind of stinks that kind of stinks but i kind of want to leave gengar at the same time to kind of cancel that trick room unless he goes dust cops and uh hmm i'm gonna leave gengar i am gonna leave gengar and i could pick out an rangaroo easily so i might go toxic Crook here as well I might go, yeah, let's go Toxic Rook, bring that Snorlax, and then do I just bring Colossal instead of the Charizard and not even trigger its Steam Engine? That could be a play. That could be a play right there. Nah, I think I'm just going to bring Charizard in the back end and just roll out from here. I think I like that. I think I really do like that. Even though Toxic Rook and Gengar are fast, I feel like I could do big damage up front, especially to Trick Room users, and then roll out with the Charizard or the, uh, the Snorlax in the back end. But maybe, uh, the only Pokemon I'm really worried about is going to be a Rhyperior. But if I can just outspeed it and all that... Or to cancel out the trick room, my charger should be able to take it out with a solar beam or a uh, what's it called? Or a max overgrowth. But he goes dust cops and right here. Uh right here might protect here. I think he might he, he's got a protector here, right? Do I fake it out anyway? Or do I, I think I just double up into the uh, dust cops? I think I double up into the dust cops regardless. Yeah, yo, let's get after it. Let's just double up into this fool. I ain't playing around, dog. I could sucker punch it. But it's probably not going for a move, so I might as well just go for at least a poison jab or something. Even though I want to go for a Sucker Punch, but I cannot. It's not going to go for a move. Cross Shop will not do anything, or I could get after this point. Um, I think I'm just going to Poison Jab and try to just do as much damage as I can over onto this Dust Cop slot. See what happens. Yeah, Rhyperior protects. Kind of saw that coming. Kind of saw that coming. Yeah, Shadow Ball coming out here. Hey, yeah, hey, get him. Do some mean damage to this thing. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. He's going to survive and be able to set up a Trick Room, which is tough news, man. Which is such tough news. Special Defense is going to drop here. Poison Drive is going to come out of here. Hopefully we can still uh, stick a poison into this thing with the poison touch. Get it. No poison? Okay, there it is. I was going to say. We better get a poison with the poison touch. If we get off a nice little poison. With a wisp comes out. Oh, and we avoid it. Oh, you buttery biscuit. You didn't play Trick Room? You crazy. You are crazy, my dude. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I'm totally cool with that. Um, I am so sorry, Mr. Ripe here and Dust Cops, but I believe that is going to be game. Um, I think that's pretty much game. Thank you for uh, showing up, and thanks for playing. But this one's kind of over with. This one is pretty much done with. Now that you have no trick room and a cross shop is going to come across to your boy. He will eat up the cross shop, I believe. I hope not. But he's a pretty bulky defensive Pokemon. So, I think he should be able to eat this up. But 
Either way, I feel like we're chilling now that we have Trick Room out the way. Cross Shop coming out here. Oh. Yeah, see, so he eats that up just fine, but big damage coming out here. Poison Touch comes out there, and yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, Poison Touch is rocking out for us right now. And then, what's, uh, what's he triggering? His weakness policy? That's totally fine. We drop in Rock Slide. The Helping Hand and Weakness Policy? Okay, high horsepower. Uh, that's fine. See you later. See you later, Touch Crook. Touch Crook, come on. That's fine. You did your job of poison on that big dog. This is pretty much game. Uh, did I bring out Snorlax and just, uh, nah, I just bring out Charger Dynamax. It's game. Look at us. Look at us getting started in the new season just fine. Just dandy, yo. Go 0-3 in the last video, but we're going to make up for it today by getting some wins here. Dude, nice start. Nice start. But if he would have set up Trick Room, uh, that would have been a little different story here. Would have been a little different story. I feel like, I feel like we still uh, would have been fine because the Dust Cops would have went down last turn. And what else would have happened? And that's about it. And then my Charizard would have came out here and we, we still would have been chilling. Uh, do I set up the sunny day? Yeah, let's set up the sunny day. Set up the sunny day. Actually, he's going to... Oh, yeah. No, let's just set up the sunny day. We're going to the max server. Let's play this one slow. No way right here is protecting. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. He actually might uh, Dynamax the Gastrodon. He might actually Dynamax the Gastrodon, but I want to play the sunny day and just be chilling here. And just get the weather in my favor. In my favor. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think the, the Gastron is going to be doing too, too much, especially with a sunny day. We'll be, we'll be chilling just fine. Just dandy. Like little candies, baby. Wait, hey, 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 but yo, I cannot wait for Crown Tundra. Let me know in the comment section down below what Pokemon you guys are most hyped for for the Crown Tundra. For me, it's got to be, like, Salamence is in it, right? No, it's Garchomp. It's Garchomp and uh, Dragonite. Like, those two, obviously, were, I'm pretty hyped for. Those are awesome. Same thing with, like, Magmortar and Electivire. Like, they're gonna be cool. I cannot wait to show them off on the rank Double Ladder for you guys. Like, it's gonna be so sick. It's gonna be so sick. But, here goes our Sunny Day. You... Oh, wait a minute. Sunny Day is actually just gonna help us out. Just gonna help us out a lot here. It's gonna neglect some of that Gastron damage right there. Alright, period goes down. We get the overgrowth. I can send that next turn with the grassy terrain to do massive damage on that guy. Strong. Right up here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. And then I'll just potentially ally switch next turn. Just have Gengar here to pass her around and chill out. Even though I feel like we could take out this thing in one shot. Actually, I don't know. That's tough. Considering we don't have stab, it's not stab grass, but we get the 1.3 multiplier. Here goes your geyser. Go ahead. Throw your geyser at me. I'm cool with it. We eat that up all day. That's a tasty snack you got there, buddy. Real tasty. Real tasty. Thank you, Sunny Day. Thank you so much, yeah. Thank you so much. Hey, 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 sunny day, yeah, 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 sunny day, sunny day, sunny day. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. But I'm trying to think of other Pokemon that are coming. I know all the legendaries are. I'm not too really worried about the legendaries, but I'm worried about more so Pokemon that I'm going to be able to use on the rank ladder. It's more so what I'm looking at. Uh, do I double up into the Gastron? I think I do. I'll have to go home. Yeah, we're going to double up in this Gastron. I'll have to go home. But is Metagross a part of it? I think Metagross might be a thing. Give me the special defense drop. We got crit. Ooh, we. Ooh, we. Oh, and we get the special. He's gone. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him going. Get him going. Oh, wait a minute. This thing's holding Rindo Berry. This thing's holding Rindo Berry. Chill on me. I should have kind of actually saw that. Can we still KO? Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> okay, get it. Get this thing out of here. I'm real sick of it. Rindo Berry does nothing. Does nothing. But I'm pretty sure Metagross is going to be part of the Crown Tundra, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. But I remember looking at the list. I know all the uh, the Sinnoh evolutions are coming through, like uh, the ones that are not here. Like I think Gliscor is coming in. Um, oh, Ice Punch hit me hard. Ice Punch hit me hard. But I think Gliscor is coming in. Magmortar, Electivire, and then the other ones that are not here yet. I think those are like the only three. There might be like one or two more that I'm forgetting about. There it is. Um, but that's gonna be game here. Game one wrapped up. Pretty simple. Max Airstream's gonna come in, out here. Be able to pick up the KO. This guy should just leave. Save his Conqueror some time. But he made a bad play right off the rip. He should have set up that Trick Room instead of going for will o -Wisp. I really don't know what he was doing. And my, somehow, my Gengar survives the whole match. Like, what Gengar does that when he play him right off the rip? Like, he is a glass cannon. He's just a glass cannon. And he just survived right off the rip. Whole match. Let's get it, guys. 1-0 to start off this video. We pounce it on strong. We, we coming out strong. Better than our 0-3 video. Pretty cool team that we are going up against in battle number two. He's got Amoongus. Everyone loves Amoongus. He's so cool. He's got Storm Drink, Gastrodon, Arcanine, probably Intimidate, Life Lightford, Braviary, and Define. If I had to guess Lightning Rod, Raichu, then obviously, uh, obviously Levitate, Hydreigon, because I think that's his only ability he learns. But I feel like we're safe by going into our uh, Steam Engine combo with Weavile and Colossal. I feel like that's a totally fine option we can do. But I'm going to get after it. I'm going to get after it. 
we're gonna lead them to um who else are you bringing them back i don't have to worry about speed or uh trick room pokemon so i'm fine with that so i'm thinking of going uh charizard maybe i can set up sunny day with uh weavile no problem so i don't think i need gengar here i'm thinking charizard and toxic Crow could do absolute work that's just back in pokemons but i'm gonna roll out with them too because they're pretty fast they can do hit hard and add poison on top of it and we should be chilling here we should be chilling yeah yeah yeah, but if you guys haven't checked out my any of my uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars playthroughs, go check them out. They're a blast. They're tons of fun to record. I really do enjoy playing them, and we got more of that content on the way. Same thing with Pokemon. Pokemon. But I've been talking about all the content that is coming to this channel within these months. It's going to be crazy because we got to finish up Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario 64. Pokemon content isn't going anywhere with Crown Tundra coming out soon. We got Pikmin 3 Deluxe coming out. And then we got Super Mario Sunshine also coming out. Well, it's already out, but I haven't started the playthrough on that yet. So we also have that playthrough. And I'm thinking about maybe buying Hyrule Warriors, the new one. If you guys want me to buy Hyrule Warriors, let me know in the comment section down below and do a playthrough on that. Because that game does seem pretty cool, but I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. Um, I could fake out right off of here. But I'm definitely going to go through Surf. And I feel like he's going to put me to sleep. So I'm just going to take out the movies, no problem. Uh, we're going to Dynamax and go through this Max Fire and just take this thing out and set the sun on our own. And set the sun on our own, yeah. On our own, yeah. A, A, on our own, yeah. You're not putting me to sleep. Yeah, not today. No, no, sir. You're not doing it. A, A, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yo, we jamming, yo. We jamming down. Feeling good. Feeling good today. I don't know why. Just woke up. It's just like, yo, let's record some Pokemon. Let's have ourselves a good time. That's exactly what we're doing. But he's going to Dynamax Hydreigon as well. But I feel like we're fine. He might just drop, make an attack drop on me with a Max Worm one. Which, again, I'm totally fine with. So I'm going to be plus two. There's Hydreigon. Hydreigon. Yeah, or he might go for Max Start. We'll see. We'll see what, what Hunko Junko want to do here. What you want, fool? What you want, dog? But Amoongus is obviously going for the sport. Or maybe the Rage Powder. It doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. As long as uh, we take this thing out and just get this little pest of Pokemon out of the way. But that that is usually like a huge thing. Like if you get rid of their like Pester or like support mons, you usually win the game like that. But sometimes I'll lose games just by trying to go after like that heavy hitting mon, like say I kept going after his Hydreigon, without taking out the support mon first. But that happens a lot. This thing's gonna rage powder, that's totally fine by me. That's totally fine by me. We were coming after you anyway. So he's making this play. Surf comes out here. Let's get it. Team Engine Colossus is gonna pop. Let's get it. Let's go. Plus six speed. Weakness policy triggering as well. This is an awesome combo. I really do enjoy this combo. It's not like super OP. Unless the person doesn't know how to really play up against it. Because then you could just run matches with it. But Amoongus is dead. 100% here. Super effective. Stab. Plus two. Get him out of here. Now we got the sun in our favor. I can go for a triple axle later as well. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. I think triple axle works. It goes 20. What is it? 20, 40, 60. It's three hits, but it has like a chance of failing or something like that. This thing's gonna go for. Oh, oh, hey, oh, not stab. Oh my god, you did so much damage for that. You did so much damage. You did so much. I guess that's because it's four times weakness. But jeez, man. It, I didn't think that was gonna kill. It, was, it wasn't stab, it was coverage. Man! It is four times with fire and uh. Fire and rock. That's fair. That's fair. I could get out Charizard. We do have the Sun Wolf. But I think I'm just going to go after, uh, bring out Toxicroak and save Charizard for the back a little bit. But I can cross chop. I could double up in this Hydreigon, no problem. I could double up into this hunk of junk. And he's going to send out Arcanine. Ooh, Intimidate's going to be tough for us. Oh, please be Flash Fire. Nope, it's Intimidate. That's rough news. That is real rough news for us. But I think I double up in this Hydreigon here. I think I cross chop it and triple axle and just get after it. Right? I think that's the play. Or I could fake out the Arcanine and just triple axle. Hmm. Hmm. I think, I think I think we're gonna go do that, and I think we're just gonna pick out Arcanine. As much as I want to, do I do it? I feel like he's just gonna take out my Toxic Rig here. Yeah, I'm gonna pick out the Arcanine. I'm gonna play the fake out game here. We're gonna fake him out, do a little bit of damage, get the flinch. Triple Axe is gonna pop out here. Come on, all three hit. I think we can pick up the KO if all three hit. Crit, baby. Super effective. Only one hit. Bro, what you mean? It's game, bro. Ah. Ugh. Game. Game. Yep, Tox Trick on. This game, dude. This game. This game is game is game. I need Triple Axel to hit all three times. If they hit all three times, we should be looking pretty good for this game. But if not, then, then we're looking a little tough here. We saw our Charizard. I need my Triple Axel to just uh, start going. Start popping off. 
Oh, man. God dang, triple axel. I think that would have killed if we would have got all three hits. Especially at least two. At least two I wanted. And then we could have rolled out and possibly get two here. And roll from there. But triple axel again. Going into you. And then I think I just drop. Ooh. Mm. I think I just protect this, this turn. I'm just going to protect this turn. See how this plays out. Yeah, I'm going to protect. Play this one slow. Slow, slow. That's the only thing I don't like. like I really love Charizard. But like, I'd rather have Air Slash on this Charizard. Instead of Hurricane. Instead of Hurricane for sure. But Hurricane's just like big old stab. Or not. Yeah, big old stab. Triple Axel. Can all three just hit? He does have a boost now. Which is kind of tough. Come on. Third one hit. Third one hit. Third one hit. Come on. Yes, sir. Okay. Third one's hitting. See, yo, if we had two on the last one, we would have been chilling just fine. The one was hit three times. Dark just coming through over on Weavile, right? Where's that Charizard? I oh, just Charizard. Beautiful. Okay, so Protect helping us out here. This one could be closer than I think it is. Hopefully this, uh, now this Arcanine is just going to foil it, but let's take on the Weavile. We are Sash though, aren't we? I think we might be. We are, that's beautiful. Willow is coming out here. Onto Weavile. That's totally fine. Triple Axel will still take out that thing. And I need some Hurricanes to land. We need some Hurricanes to land. Solar power. Soaking up some damage. I need Hurricanes to land big time right now. Like, big old time. Ben, Dan, Dan, hey. Uh, Triple Axel, of course. And then we're going to roll out into my Hurricane. Over onto the Arcanine. Come on, baby. We still, we're still in this. We outspeed. But we're still in this 100%. We just need our moves to connect. Um, I know Triple Axel. I think one of them will probably take out this one. This, actually, I don't know. This thing, everything, oh, he's going to protect you. Buttery biscuit, man. We should have doubled up into you. We should have doubled up into you. Triple Axel getting blocked. That's fair. He's just going to Flare Blitz me down. Unless Hurricane gives me the ducks, which would be huge. And, of course, we miss. What you mean? Heat wave coming out here. All right, that's going to be game. That's definitely game now. Bo show. Bo show. We miss a Hurricane, man. Even though it is a lower chance of hitting. That's why I would rather have Air Slash. We get that flinch chance. And it's going to hit most of the time, which is huge. But one and one so far for this video. We're going to run. We're, we're going to keep my big dog Charizard alive here. We definitely are. We're not going to let him go down and die. And we're going to go one and one for right now and hop into our third and final battle and try to get that winning record for you guys. Final battle coming at you guys. Looking to get a winning record. He has a sick team right here. Like, I love the way Kabalion looks. Same thing with Talonflame. Crocodile, but it's beat up. It's beat up justified uh, Kabalion team. That's exactly what it is. Um, And if he goes into that, that one's looking a little tough for me. I don't know if I should leave Charizard maybe. Get him rolling up in there. Hit the sunny day and get rolling from there and just... Burn him out. Or if he goes Talon Flame, he could go Prima Arena. He has a lot of different options. So I'm actually thinking of ooh, I can I no, you can't pick out a Sneasel, and that's the tough part. You can't pick out a Sneasel. So I'm thinking of just going Tox Crook and Charizard. Maybe potentially Dynamax in this thing. Bring in uh, Gengar in the back end and then maybe Snorlax is just a nice little back end Pokemon. I don't like it. I'm kinda, I kinda like the way that looks. I don't like the way it sounds too. Kinda sounds pretty nice too, because we can pick out with Toxic if we want, but I gotta remember that Sneasel cannot be faked out. That's why people do use Sneasels over Weebiles a lot, because they can't be faked out. That's good to know. It's good to remember. Luckily, I did remember that, because usually when I don't play in a little bit, I forget little things, kinda like that last video. I was forgetting like little things like Magic Bounce, like all these different things. I was just like, bruh, I'm losing the game for myself. But he's gonna send out no Kabalion. What is this, Copycat? Oh, copycat? Or what, what, does, uh, what does this thing do? What does Parlone usually do? But I'm, I'm liking this. I can fake out uh, whoever I want. And I think I'm gonna. Oh, big Intimidate drop. That's fine. That's fine with my charge. I'm supposed to attack him. But I'm gonna definitely fake out that uh, Parlone right there. No problem whatsoever. Do that up on you. And then I think I just drop a big old Max Overgrowth over onto you. Get that rolling. And we should be chilling. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Go from there. Oh, this thing could trick her. It could trick her, I know that. Right? Pearl Lanes can trick him. And Krugadals do rock out on their trick him. Very slow Pokemon. So, figuring that out is going to be huge. Going to be huge, baby. Dun dun, a, a, a. Charizard. Dynamax so strong. <laughs> this thing is still an absolute beast. Like, I absolutely love it. But I, I wish uh, they would have added the. Uh... Oh no! Back to what I was talking about, the Crown Tundra Pokemon. Aren't they adding the uh, Gen 3 starters? So, like, Skeptile. Skeptile is one of my favorite Pokemons. Uh, Blaziken and Swampert. I believe they're adding all of them in this game. So, that is so hype. I cannot wait. And then, hopefully, they announce a Gen 4 remake soon. Like, come on. They got to give that to us. Like, that is all the Pokemon people want. Like, we'd rather have a Gen 4 remake than a brand new game. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> like, oh my god, we would absolutely love it. But Crocodile is going to protect. That's totally fine. I think Portland's trying to set up maybe a trick room or something. I'm cool with that. When I actually uh, fake out this thing, then, you know, get out of my face, get a little bit of clips. He's going, a little bit of clip, and then a nice little max overgrowth. Uh, and we'll set up the grass turn here as well. And then I'm, I think I just sunny day. I think I just sunny day and take out Kukuda? or do I take out Perlon? Or do I take out Perlon? Who do I take out here? I don't even think I need a sunny day. I think I can just cross shop over into the Perlon, and then I just take out that uh, that thing and then set up the sunny day. That's up to me. I get to decide. I'm making rules today. I think that's fine to do. I think that's a that's a safe thing to do. Do I just wildfire this thing and set that up? No, I'll set that up next turn. I think we just I think we just take out Cuckoo Doll. And just play this fine. Even though wildfire, I think wildfire would. But at the same time, I want to get a cross shop going up across this way. Let's get after it. Oh, you Dynamax in two. That better not be Cuckoo Doll. That better not be Crocodile. Crocodile's dead, dog. Crocodile's gonna be dead if that's Crocodile's out of Maxon. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Unless you got Ally Switch. Unless you're rocking out with that, then, then you might be fine. But other than that, yo, that Crocodile is gone. He gone. He's so gone. Let's see what you got, kid. Thunder Wave coming out. Oh, you slowing me down. Okay. Okay. You're gonna Thunder Wave me. I see how it is. We get a little rock. Oh, a little bit of rock fall. A little bit of rock fall. I see how you're playing this. I see how you're playing. That's okay. Okay, little buddy. I got you. I understand. I understand. That's big damage on me. Sandstorm's rolling. Cross shop's coming out here. Oh, man. Nice play by him. Nice play by him. I'll give it to him. I wasn't expecting the Thunder Wave to slow down and then just drop it on me. A little rough. A little rough news there. But Cross shop comes out here. <sighs> so do I yell? Wait, like, what do I do? I, I get two options. Do I yell? Do I throw my controller and here's here's the third one, or do I just run this battle? Do I just do I just quit? Because I'm missing my cross chops out the buns, man. That should have been an easy KO. We should have been chilling just fine. And I'm kind of annoyed now because that was my throat chop. <sighs> this game, man, this game is really really bad. Yeah, it's really really bad. Yeah, it's really really bad. Oh no no no! I think we're going one and two now, ladies and gents, ladies and gentlemen, fish. I think that's, I think that's what happened. Crocodile's chilling here. Cross shop. How, how high is a cross shop success rate? 80. Like, come on, man. I think it should be dumped into the ground. Actually, I'm going to cross shop on you. I think I just sludge wave. Hmm. Or I could just ally switch. Or I could just shadow ball. What do I really want to do here? I could swap. Maybe do I just set up a sunny day over the sandstorm? I feel like sunny day over the sandstorm would be better for us. Z is ground type. I'm gonna set up the sunny day. I'm just gonna switch up the weather here. I'm gonna change it up just a tad bit. Just a tad bit here. Just, just a tad bit. Cross shop should be able to come out here. Quake's coming out here. Okay, we're dead. Never mind. Should ally switch. I should ally switch. Ah, uh, bad play by jeans. Bad play by jeans. I totally should have ally switch. Like now looking at it. Like we just got dumped on by a max quick. I should have ally switch. Should have been chilling just fine. We're probably gonna get swept here. Probably. Um. Hmm. Any way out of this, jeans? Probably not. Snarl's coming out. He's just learning my special attack. Oh my lord, you're such a class cannon, dude. Poo poo, you took that much damage to a snarl? Are you kidding me, man? What you mean? What do you mean? But yeah, we definitely played this last battle pretty bad. Uh, I'll, I'll give it to myself. Shouldn't have even sunny day. There was really no point in there. I should have ally switched and saw that quake coming. Ate it up or at least took it with the Gengar cross chop. Take, would have taken out the Crocodile just fine. And then maybe clutch it up with the Snorlax. Could have been a play. Could have been a play. We're going to get after this thing. We're getting after this thing. We're just going to go, uh, we'll go Shadow Ball. Guess we'll go Shadow Ball. I'm doubling up on this Crocodile. I don't want this thing here. Pain in my neck. I lost my Charizard and that was game. I didn't think, like, that T-Wave Rockfall play won in the game. Hands down, I didn't see it coming at all. I really didn't. Shadow Ball comes out. Give me that special defense drop. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. Even though it does nothing because we're physical attacking over here on the left side. My Snorlax. Quake coming out here and he's just running with Quake. Special defense is boosted. Snorlax, eat it. Thank you, buddy. I love you, Snorlax. I love you, Snorlax. Yeah, 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 Snorlax. Yeah, 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 Snorlax. Let's 
get it. Snarl comes out. Oh, yeah, Snarl likes to avoid that. But Gengar goes down to two Snarls. Nice one. I know he eats out one up. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Special attack drop. Superpower comes out here. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. We don't take that thing out. We don't take him out. And there goes our attack and defense drop. I just didn't want to get swept. We might get swept now. Unless Gengar can't kill this thing, but I don't think he is. I don't think he is. I don't think he can do it. I don't think he has the moxie. I need a crit from him now. Bam, bam, bam. He's not taking him out. I can't sound sign. It is not happening. It's going to be game. We're going to get swept in that final round. That's all good. I'm just going to run and uh, leave these two Pokemon alive. I don't want them getting hurt anymore. But still, I had a ton of fun with this team. I feel like uh, first battle, we played really, really well. Second battle, we played decent. We just ended up getting hell. And third battle, I'll take that one in the chin. That one's on me. We lost this one because of my bad plays. One last shout out to my boy Randy for dropping this team. I really do appreciate it. It was tons of fun. Guys, if you want to drop teams for me, head to the link in the description below. There's a link to my Instagram page, jeans underscore YouTube. DM me your teams over there. That is the best way of getting teams to me. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that bigger subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.